Hi, I'm Kevin Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. XO sauce is the most valuable Cantonese condiment made with expensive ingredients such as dried scallop, jinhua ham, and dried shrimps. XO sauce got its name from its XO, which means extra old cognac, famous in Hong Kong. And it has a rich umami taste with a complex, sweet, smoky, and salty flavor. And most people buy the XO sauce, which is expensive. However, if you make it yourself, you can enjoy it with a fraction of the cost. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make XO sauce. First, let us start with preparing the three main ingredients for XO sauce. Jinghua ham, dry scallop, and dry shrimp. Jinghua ham is a type of dry cured ham which is very salty with an intense bacony taste. It may not be available at some places and bacon is the closest substitute. Cut the Jinghua ham into half inch thick slices. This is dry scallop. In Mandarin, we call it Gan Bei or Jiang Yao Zhu. Since dry scallop is quite hard, you need to soak it at least for a few hours or overnight before use. Next, steam the dry scallop and Jinghua ham. Steam both of them until soft so that you can cut the ham into small dice and shred the scallop into strips. Generally, it takes about 45 minutes of steaming to soften the scallop. The ham will soften it within 20 minutes. However, I steam the ham together with the dry scallop and remove it much longer than 15 minutes, which will not affect the outcome of the ham. Okay, remove from the steamer after 45 minutes. And then next, shred each dry scallop into individual fine strips. And finally, cut the ham into small dice. The third major ingredient is dry shrimp. Dry shrimp is relatively softer than dry scallop, so you only need to soak it for 15 minutes and steaming is not necessary. After soaking, drain the dry shrimp and then chop it into the size of rice grains. Now let's move on to the shallot and the garlic. I cut the shallot and garlic manually into small dice. I will not use a garlic crusher to mash the garlic because mashed garlic will burn quickly while deep frying. Similarly, cut the red chili into small pieces. Again, remove the seeds if you do not want the sauce to taste too spicy. Once we have got all this ready, let's move on to the next step. Place the vegetable oil in a wok or a large skillet and heat the oil to about 150 degrees Celsius or about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Since the scallop, shrimp and onion contain water, there will be plenty of bubbles created and the level of oil will rise rapidly the moment you add them into the hot oil. Therefore, it is essential to use moderate heat oil to prevent the volume of oil from swelling and overflow from the wok. Start with deep frying the scallop. Next, Jinghua ham. And then, dry shrimp. Once you have finished deep frying one of them, remove them with a wire mesh strainer to drain the oil. I would suggest deep frying the scallop, ham, and shrimp separately because they have a different water content. Hence, they require different duration to deep fry until they become slightly golden, slightly crispy, and dry. The time required is generally about 5 minutes, but it depends on how much water remains after draining and steaming. Therefore, it is best not to set a fixed time, but to observe the texture. All these three items are done when they look dry, slightly crispy, and light brown. 
and the texture should be similar to lightly fried bacon. Then place it in a separate pan and continue to deep fry the next one. Once you finish deep frying the scallop, ham and shrimp, continue to do so for the shallot, garlic and cheese. Add the shallots to the oil and deep fry for about 5 minutes, followed by the garlic. You should add the garlic later because it has lower moisture content and tend to change color quickly. Continue to deep fry until the color of the shallots and the garlic starts to turn golden. Next, add the red chili and fry for another minute, then turn off the heat. Now let's move on to season the scallop, ham and shrimp. You should season the XO sauce heavily since it is meant to be a condiment and part of the seasoning for stir frying. Season it with Shaoxing wine, light soy sauce, oyster sauce, sugar, The leftover extract after steaming the ham and scallop and mix well. Now return these ingredients to the wok that contains the fried shallot, garlic and chilies. Now you can add some chili powder if you like it spicy. The chili powder also makes the oil look redder and more appealing. Continue to simmer it over low heat until all the water has evaporated. And now the XO sauce is ready. XO sauce has multiple usages. Some common usage includes preparing fried rice, noodles, as topping for steamed fish or tofu. You can also sprinkle it on top of roasted vegetables and use it as the sauce to stir fry any dishes. You can store the XO sauce in the refrigerator for up to one month. Make sure that it's sufficient oil to submerge all the solid ingredients. You can also keep it frozen if you intend to keep it longer. You can get the recipe in the description down below the video. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the notification bell and give me a like. And don't forget to share it with your friends and family on your social media. I'll see you again in some other similar videos soon in the future and bye for now.